Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this episode of Discussing Digital. Uh, and today on Discussing Digital with uh, Alison Colley. Alison, um, would, would you like to uh, explain a bit more about uh, your business to start with? Uh, and then we'll talk about how you're using uh, digital marketing to promote that. Okay, so um, I run a firm of solicitors, so we, but we specialise just in employment law. So we're employment specialist solicitors. There are um, six of us in the team um, currently, and we work for clients all over the UK, so both businesses and individuals, helping with anything employment related, um, from you know preparing contracts through to representation at the employment tribunal. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Um, and uh, can, can you tell me a bit about how you're using uh, digital marketing to promote your business? Um, because uh, we've we chatted before and a lot of things at home, but you are doing some great stuff. So if you want to do an overview, and then I think we're going to sort of dig into a few bits that I think are really fascinating. Yes. So um, I suppose I should give some background. I, when I started the business, it was inspired by listening to lots of podcasters and people who were in the digital marketing arena anyway. And so I was looking at ways in which I could do things differently to my peers. Um, Lots of solicitors are pretty bad at marketing and haven't really delved into, or hadn't at the time I started the business, delved into digital marketing. So we tried to use digital as much as possible in our marketing strategy Um, for two reasons. One is to extend our reach. So I'm obviously, I'm based, my head office is on the Isle of Wight. Um, So, you know, I'm trying to reach other people um, around the UK it's one way of doing that. And the other is it's fairly inexpensive um, as a tool. Um, so we use digital as much as possible. No, oh, that's great that you spotted that as a, a as a kind of way to kind of get an advantage on some of your comp- traditional competitors. Uh, uh, anyway, but um, as you as you say, you're inspired by podcasts. Because I know you you're an early innovator with 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 podcasts, weren't you? Yeah, so I um, I started my first podcast, which was completely unrelated to employment law, um, in about 2012. And then when I started the business in 2013, um, I decided actually doing a podcast, given that I had that sort of skill and experience, would be a good thing to do. And um, like you say, one of the early adopters, if you like. And there were very few other employment law and HR podcasts out there at the time. And so I started it in August 2014, um, and I've been going fairly consistently since then, up to episode 184, I think, was yeah. last week. <laughs> that, that's 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 a, an, an amazing number number of um, uh, editions. Uh, and, and I remember because you, you you kindly did a presentation to a mastermind group I was doing a few years ago, and I remember you, you sort of sharing that actually. Um, it helps you raise your profile, and you got you you were in in sort of national press, I think it was about that. But... Yeah, so again, a few years ago, before podcasts were really, really popular, um, I was approached by The Guardian and they did an article online about using podcasts for business. So that was quite good exposure. Um, I've been contacted and interviewed by people um, in various places you know, across the world. And I've met a lot of people off the back of the podcast as well. Yeah, no, that, that's great. Um, and, and I'm going to straight, jump straight to something we were talking about um, just beforehand. Um, how, again, how you're using uh, being an early adopter of, of innovation, um, because uh, you shared with me you've got a got a TikTok account, which I would not have thought of at <laughs> all uh, until you shared it. So when you actually got me onto TikTok this morning, I <laughs> see so you you've got some videos with like a hundred thousand views and fifty thousand views and stuff like that, and I was just really amazed at the sort of like outreach and engagement that you've had with that yes so um i have to say i have to credit um gary vaynerchuk if you heard of gary v um uh for this because i listened to his lots of his work and back in uh 2020 during the pandemic he was pushing tiktok as a, a way of wh- in which to get um organic reach if you like um, which you can't do on a lot of the other platforms, certainly, you know, Facebook and, and Instagram and that sort of thing. You don't get that anymore. And so I kind of delved into it, had a look around. And because it was fairly early on, I was able to get quite a good uh, username. Mm-hmm. Um, many people are using it. So I've got at Employment Lawyer, which I think it'd be really difficult to get on many other platforms now. And then during um, the pandemic and lockdowns, I was doing sort of some information videos on there around employment law, um, just sort of spreading the word about what's going on with furlough, you know, the sort of vaccination status and employment rights and that sort of thing. And, and like you say, got quite a lot of very quick reach um, with those, lots of 
views on several of those, lots of comments, um, lots of interaction, and actually um, people contacting, asking questions directly and, and, you know, saying they found us via TikTok and asking for advice. So, you know, a lot quicker in terms of um, contacts and conversions than in other um, media, if you like. Yeah. Um, It's worked really well. Um, I think my problem with it has been consistency. When I've been consistent and recording a video at least once a day, then I've seen that the numbers grow much quicker. And then um, the times when I've sort of slipped on it and haven't done so, um, it's kind of reduced. But uh, hopefully people leave comments and you can then directly respond to those comments on a video. And so that's been a, quite a good way of doing some content without having to spend a lot of time thinking about it. Yeah, I was going to say it's clear from it that, that you were doing a lot of, uh, you know, certainly a lot of your latest ones were literally you know responding to it you had the question as like a um, text on the video um, yeah. which which was which was really good um but I, I, again i don't think you should beat yourself it is very difficult about consistency yeah. that's all you know, i think for every um small business owner unless you've got a dedicated person who's producing all your digital um content all the time that is their full-time job it's so hard um yeah. to uh, um be able to produce content every day so uh, yeah I, I would just say don't 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 beat yourself up about it because um it it is always a challenge uh, but I, th- I think what you've just done there is, is brilliant it's genius and i'm just kind of going mm-hmm. i'm going well i'm going to tell other people how to do that because that's a great yeah. idea <laughs> yeah and it still it still is very in its sort of infancy if you like tiktoks and i re- i recommend that you know you get on it you kind of spend some time looking around and um, because often people think it's just for you know really young people or it's about dancing or doing the kind of stuff but actually it's not just that you can do your own thing and I would say um, you know don't try to be inauthentic and just try to kind of take up the latest fad if that's not you Um, you know there are a couple of things we've done which were quite fun in the office about some of the you know trends that were going around but but you know I don't I don't really want to dance to TikTok songs Um, yeah You know, I don't mind doing that in, at home in private, but not not for TikTok. So, you know, we, you know, I'm just doing what I do for people on a re- regular basis and um, sharing that via TikTok. So hopefully helping people with employment questions, um, but also spreading the word about what we do. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I think it's great. And it's interesting, uh, the impact of tic- TikTok, because um, as we were discussing um, just beforehand, you know, Instagram is now doing Instagram Reels, which are very, very much like to, to me, look like a, a direct response to that, and similar YouTube Shorts. So um, I think it's sort of, sort of, you know, one of the things again with the challenge uh, of um, creating content. At least you could almost repurpose some of that stuff across those other channels to just get some other reach. Um, I'm not sure about YouTube Shorts; I've not quite got that, but Instagram might be a, be, be, a, be an interest, interesting um, thing to look at. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've done a couple of a couple of YouTube shorts, but I was just trying it out when it sort of came in. Um, and then, you know, Instagram, we, we do have Instagram and, you know, I've got an account. I think we've got a business account, which um, my colleague deals with. But I, I really have decided to kind of focus in on particular areas, which, you know, like like TikTok and um, LinkedIn and YouTube, because, you um, you know, you can get lost um, in um, amongst it, can't you? In oh, all. yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, again, we were, we were saying that beforehand when you were talking about, yeah, the, the, the good thing is you actually said to me, in my digital marketing strategy, a lot of people don't yeah. say, you've got a strategy, and it is focus on a couple of things and do them well, uh, because I think that's absolutely right, because, again, uh, we were talking about you know, the challenges of creating content, but it's much better to do one or two things right and we said, well, I think you're rocking all these things <laughs> and trying to do everything and not do any of it well. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, that's good. Um, yeah, and you mentioned there as well about uh, LinkedIn and uh, YouTube and video. So, um, so if, if you're right, let's talk a, a little bit more about um, those. So, so let's talk a bit, a bit about video and YouTube, because uh, I think you did actually mention YouTube specifically <laughs> rather than just video. Yes. So we, um, we're doing a couple of things with YouTube at the moment. One is um, we're using uh, software to repurpose the podcast into um, videos format for um, YouTube because uh, people do still listen just to audio on YouTube. Um, so that's worked quite well. And we did a series of videos 
um, where we commissioned um, a local company to help us with some videos, some sort of informational videos to promote the firm. And um, there is more in the pipeline in relation to YouTube, because again, I think the kind of informational videos, the sort of longer ones than the TikTok video um, are really helpful. The, the most popular video that on there at the moment is one around ACAS, just a short video of me talking and explaining about what ACAS is. And so we want to do more of those sort of explanation type videos and maybe do some more around um, sort of explaining some of the processes. So lots of people, you know, can't afford a budget of a solicitor. So our aim is to provide information so people can do it themselves. And that's where the YouTube kind of comes in. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, YouTube's very good for that. Um, the, yeah, the, a lot of people do go and search, you know, specifically looking for information and questions. So again, uh, makes makes great sense about what you're doing. Uh, and people often forget, uh, business owners often forget that actually YouTube's the second biggest used search engine uh, and is owned by Google. So it really helps with that That uh, pe- when people are just looking for advice. So uh, no, I, yeah. I do love your strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other thing you mentioned was about LinkedIn. So uh, if you've got anything sort of yeah. like you'd like to share about uh, how you're using LinkedIn. Um, again, another um, thing inspired by Gary V was the LinkedIn. I was always on LinkedIn, if you like, and sort of dabbled with it previously. But again, it's one of those platforms where currently you can get quite good organic reach with your posts. So you don't have to spend money on advertising and marketing to get in front of your audience. So and it's quite good in terms of the people I'm trying to reach and connect with who are you know, business owners or HR professionals from that sort of standpoint. Um, and again, it's worked really well for me during the pandemic because there were lots of updates really, you know, about furlough and information. And so we just used it as a platform to share information and updates to people. And again, you know, had some really good reach on some of those posts and good connections as a result. Um, so it's kind of two, twofold, if you like. LinkedIn is really sort of targeting the kind of business um, and employer clients. And then TikTok is more around the individual and, and kind of employee clients. So those are the two I see, you know, where we, we've had really good, like you say, really good reach. And, um, you know, it hasn't cost us anything in terms of advertising. Yeah, no, and, and I think that's that's um, you know so true. Uh, you know, particularly for startup businesses where they you know have a limited budget, actually trying to build do do digital marketing with organic reach is a great way that you can compete with um, far uh, bigger organisations if you play it smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, that, that that's really good. Um, yeah. So I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I'm just sort of a little bit conscious of time because I know you, you're very, very busy. Um, no, that's okay. <laughs> so, so uh, w- one of the things we like uh, to I like to to ask people is uh, if you have uh, one kind of tip or thing or or, or, or yeah, tip to share, uh, or one good thing for people for uh, other business owners to be doing with it, within digital marketing. Um, I suppose it's to um, to find what you're good at, what you like, the spaces you like to be in first. You know, don't necessarily think, OK, well, this is where everyone's at. So I'm going to go to that kind of platform if you don't like it and you're not engaged with it yourself. So I think you need to um, enjoy the platform if you're going to be doing content yourself. And I suppose the second thing is um, being aware of your message and what you're trying to achieve from it. So, you know, you often see people who are just advertising or spamming and using digital for that purpose, but really it's about providing value and adding value to people. And that's, that's the starting point for us is we, we create content that adds value or provides something to the people that are seeing it first. Yeah, no, that's really good. And I'm just going to keep pushing your TikTok thing. Just go and look at that, what you're doing there, because it's really clever how you just are answering people's questions and that's true added value. Um, and on the flip side of that, is it, it, it going back to the, the, the hints and tips? Is there one piece of advice you say to people that just don't do that? Um, I suppose I, I, I think you know it's around the consistency piece, isn't it? I think you can't just kind of drop in on something and try and you know work it for a couple of weeks and then leave it and then come back because you've got to. In, in everything, isn't it, digital, you've got to sort of build your audience, whatever platform that might be. So, um, be, you know, being authentic and sticking around is really important. Yeah, no, no, a, 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 another great piece of advice as well. Um, so if people are going to want to reach out to you, we, we, I will share all the links that will be in the video and also be in, in, in all the, the, the posts related to it. But if they wanted to reach out to you, is there a particular way, way that you would 
um, recommend people they want to get in contact with you either just because they need an employment lawyer or because they, <laughs> they like to talk to you about your digital marketing, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So um, you can connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to see, you know, what's going on. Obviously, TikTok, it's at employment lawyer. Um, and then if you just Google Alison Collie, I come up quite on all of the result, search results, fortunately. Um, and if you have a question or anything you want to ask, then we do, you know, respond to people will give you a free call and that sort of thing. You can always email me. Um, so my email is just alison at realemploymentadvice.co.uk. Okay, that's great. Uh, and it's been uh, so it's been great to talk to you. It's been really good to, re- to do some of those sort of my, some of my homework and just see some of the stuff <laughs> you're doing because you are doing some really good stuff. And as you say, you've you've always been um, an adopter of, of digital marketing as a, as, as a way to uh, help build and grow your business. So um, really appreciate you spending the time uh, talking with me oh. today about this. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. It's been great. Uh, it's a pleasure. All right, that's great. So. <laughs> 